Hi, my name is Michelle and I am the director of the Nectar Academy. I feel like there's a lot of people with very good intentions out there right now. Um, there's a lot of people who are trying, who, who are providing us with information. So you have the Emmas, you have the Annas who are going out and educating people. We try very hard to inform our bartenders before they're con you know, with the public to make sure that we are conveying accurate information um, and providing people with the best products that we can find for them. Um, I feel like there's a little gap sometimes between the practical knowledge that you're going to understand when you've been working with patients for years and then the science that's coming out right now and how those two merge with each other because sometimes they're conflicting. And that I feel like is a little bit of a struggle and then just being able to decipher what's accurate information out there and what's just like on the internet. Um, and so there's a lot of that going on right now too where like I read somewhere, I heard somewhere um, without necessarily having that information be validated. Um, and then I'm a science person, I was a science major, so being able to find three reputable sources to back up information that you're trying to share with people can be really difficult as well. So there's things that I know work well for patients because they've been doing it for the last 10 years, but I can't find any data to back up that, that information. And so I, that's kind of where I struggle with my position is what do I share with people that I can confirm and then what is not necessarily written in a book or published in an article, but through hundreds of patients, we believe to be true. Um, and so I feel like at this point, we need to talk to each other more and document more and um, verify more um, and share more. Our experiences, our results, our, you know, what what is working for people and what is not in a way that it's going to be more accessible to people than it is right now. For sure, um, we have no expectation of our bartenders knowing every single thing about cannabis. I kind of feel like it's a, an impossible thing right now to, unless you're a full-time researcher and that's all you're doing and then you still need to make sense of that information. Um, you know, we try very hard to make sure that they understand that it's okay to not know but to make sure that you tell somebody that. So if they ask you a question and you don't know the answer, tell them, I, I don't know, but if you give me a moment, there might be somebody else here who can better help you or I can look that information up for you. And then we try really hard to get information directly from our vendors and what they made their product for and what they feel it is best suited for directly into the hands of our bud tenders. And so we have a pretty, um, healthy vendor education program and we have a vendor drive where we offer all of our vendors the same questionnaire so it puts everybody on a level playing field which is one of the things that I enjoy about it um, and then our bud tenders at all 16 locations all have access to that drive where if someone comes in and they ask about Empower or they ask about Wild or they ask about you know some of the brands that we carry they can get the information directly from the vendor to the customer in the vendor's own words so there's no uh, game of telephone going on with information which can sometimes kind of skew the message or the real answer um, I don't really feel like there is anybody who does understand everything about cannabis currently. Um, and so we try to provide the best information that we can and be honest about what we do not know um, and let customers understand that as well, that we're, we're butt tenders, we're not your doctor, we're not a scientist, we can help you to the best of our ability um, and try and find you the right product. And then at the same time, we're all guinea pigs in this and we understand that as well. And so we really strongly encourage customers to take notes and to you know, understand that this is going to be a process and that hopefully we're going to be able to find them the correct products for them sooner rather than later. But what works for 99% of the people still might not work for them, even if that is the most recommended course of action for a particular ailment or condition. And so, you know, if you're not getting the results that you're looking for, please come back and talk to us so that we can help you find something better for you. Um, so that we don't have people leaving cannabis thinking that this isn't going to work for me when we, we might find something that's gonna give you the relief that you're looking for. It's just not the first product that you started off with.